Hey, you guys. Oh my gosh. I have so much um, exciting things to talk to you guys about. I just finished the workout and um, I'm heading home really quick because Josh and I are going to go have a date. So excited. I love my bunny. Um, anyway, you guys, let me just try to keep this um, as short and as exciting as possible. Um, so, I stumbled upon uh, just finding out that Ryan Rousey is fighting December 30th. And I'm so excited, you guys. Um, because you know she's one of my favorite fighters. I just absolutely love her. I love her. I love Holly Holm. I love Chris Cyborg. Um, those are my girls. I've loved Chris Cyborg for before Chris Cyborg. Um, I, uh, you all know I'm from San Diego and she is based in San Diego. And I just, she's my girl. I love her. Um, plus she's a really strong Christian. I've heard that, that Chris Cyborg is a really strong Christian. So, um, I love that. But anyway, you guys, Ronda Rousey is fighting December 30th. Why is that important? Um, well, number one, if you're an MMA fan, I mean, that's just like, oh my gosh, it's so exciting. But for us, let me tell you why it's exciting. It's exciting for us because we're going into fight camp. Are you excited? Are you excited to be going into fight camp? I am going to have you guys go into fight camp. We are starting today. So, um, it's so funny. I have my, um... It's so funny, I just uh, got done working. I had the best workout ever, and I'll tell you guys what I did. Um, but after I was done, it's so funny, my whole thing is all getting back onto the protein vegetables program. And it was so funny is when I was leaving, our gym had a whole, uh, it was brought to you by Sweet Tomato or something. So let, let me just plug Sweet Tomato, because they had a really big, uh, like a salad bar there, free salad for everybody balsamic uh, vinegar and um, olive oil and uh, just really good bunch of mixed uh, fill grains so it was amazing so shout out to sweet tomato hopefully that's what it's called but anyway you guys um, we are gonna go into fight camp so many times I have wanted to do a fight camp when Ronda Rousey's getting ready uh, for a competition but I've always kind of slagged off and, and, and never quite followed through on it but we are going to do, our fight camp is going to be a little bit longer. Um, I think traditionally, like most fight camps are like six to eight weeks. But because we're not professional fighters, we're going to start now, right? So here is how our fight camp is going to start. First of all, I want you to kind of just start to look at your uh, macro, micronutrients. And like for me, um, my, my uh, macro, micronutrients, I'm going to start looking at my relationship between uh, fats, proteins, uh, my carbohydrate, my sugar, my salt. Um, the big one I know is my carbs and my sugar. So I'm, I'm, I'm hitting it. We are hitting it. We are going to do it. We are going to do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. I'm so excited, you guys. I'm so excited. So, um, you know, I've been doing really, really super mellow cardio, just kind of building that base. I've been doing that for the last, I would say, well, let's see here. It's October. It's like, I don't know what the date is, you guys. I think it's the it's the 14th. It's either the 13th or the 14th, uh, October. But anyway, um, I've been doing, you guys know, the whole month of September has been um, just really listening to my body and just kind of mellow, uh, mellow cardio just to kind of get that base because my hip, my hip is jacked, dude. It's so jacked. It's still jacked. But we're going to figure it out. My feet feel like they've got like gnarly bone spurs in it but it's probably just because of um, my weight I'm carrying around a lot of extra weight so anyway you guys here's the deal with the fight camp you can decide specifically what you guys want to achieve as far as like goals my fight camp is gonna just be about really tightening up my uh, food and number one, number two, my fight camp is going to be about getting in and lifting weights every day. I'm going to take one day off, so I'll have one day a week off. And then splitting my cardio. And actually now not doing endurance cardio, like easy breezy cardio. Like tonight, I did 10 minutes. Um, but my heart rate was around what, between 148 and 151, and it's been averaging around 112. 
So that's kind of just showing you the total difference in cardio. But I've been doing an hour of cardio. This time now what I'm doing is I'm doing, uh, I did 10 minutes of cardio with that. Uh, 30 seconds on level 20 and 30 seconds on level 10. And then just juxtapositioning that back and forth for 10 minutes. Um, oh my gosh, I was like sweating like nobody's business. Okay, and number two is getting into the free weight room. So, and just, and balling it out. I did uh, chest press with 25s on each side. I averaged between eight and 10 reps on that, which is really good. I felt really strong, it was nice. Uh, my reverse abs are crap, man. I, I, I got like five reverse abs on each one. So my abdominals are really, really, they're just, I don't wanna use the word weak, let's just say, uh, they're very uh, they're not as strong as they could be so I need to get those girls strong um, number two um, so we did reverse abdominals then I went from reverse abdominals I went into some really nice deadlifts 17.5 uh, in each hand and did I did around eight reps I would say five to eight reps just really nice and slow really doing a nice um, a nice reverse shrug from the deadlift so as I come up out of that deadlift really doing a nice shrug back and that felt that was really nice that shrug was really really nice to do that so uh, reverse deadlift then I went into like my uh, horse squats and I call them horse squats because it's like riding a horse you just kind of sit down there and you just bring your back glutes up and down up and down uh, you could call it a pony squat a jockey squat Actually, you know what? Let's call it a jockey squat. I love that because it's kind of like riding a horse. You know, you're down. So I did like 10 reps on the jockey squat, and that always feels really good on my back. It seems to like open it up and release it. So, um, and then from that, I did bicep curls, just 10 reps, uh, 17.5s in each hand. And then from bicep curls, I went to uh, just my uh, single arm, like lateral over my head with like a kind of a, a tricep extension. And then uh, from that, just down to the floor, I just did some really nice uh, yoga, uh, elbows into knees, and then just kind of pressing out that way. Um, and that felt that felt like totally yummy and delicious. And then um, some just nice uh, planks. My planks, I'm super, super challenged and also. So those uh, planks, I mean, I'm holding for probably like, gosh, you guys, like, maybe eight to ten seconds uh, sometimes I can hold them a little bit more I just go when my body's like really shaking but I really keep that form really nice toes down heels down uh, sometimes I'll move between plantar flexion and dorsal flexion uh, just kind of like kind of to work that interior tibialis your shin splint area um, and then I you guys I rock through that I think I rock through that like four times four times four or five times um, maybe just four times, but gosh, you guys, I felt so strong. It's the first time I've done weights in a while. So again, but maybe I only did that four times. Actually, did I do it three times? You guys, I don't remember. Um, oh, and I did, uh, jabs, jab crosses, and then jab cross hooks, elbows, elbow up. I just did those as like my in-between to just kind of keep my stabilizers and everything pumping and moving and, and grooving really well so um that felt awesome so yeah you guys our training camp starts now are you guys ready are you ready to rock and roll i'm so totally stoked let me know if you guys would be interested in me uh selling these i have a guy that i have a manufacturer that they're little ring lights that you can you can kind of put up anywhere so that you can like film but anyway you guys i'm so super stoked and jazzed um, so let me know, are you guys up for the challenge? Are you up for um, our December 30th fight night? And then it just would be really super cool then if we all watch the fights together. Um, you know, when Ronda Rossi does her walkout, I love it when she does that walkout and she just kind of stares out. I love it. So uh, super stoked, super stoked. Let me know if you guys are up for it. I'll figure out the exact time uh, frame, how many weeks that is. But December 30th, that's all you need to know. That's the day before New Year's. It's going to be an amazing um amazing time to go into 2017. But anyway, you guys, I love you. Remember to always stand in your light, stand in your truth, and always, always be aware for life. I love you guys. Shaka bra. And remember to smile, smile, smile. Love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah.